everyone. Today is the 42nd day of COVID-19 here in Boston, Massachusetts, and the date is April 26th, 2020. Um, the cool thing about today's recipe is that I actually get dinner from my neighbors. So they're going to cook an Indian dish for me, and I'm going to make them a nice Swiss dessert, and it's called Lapkuche. Lapkuche is kind of like a gingerbread cake. And what you need for that um, is flour, white flour. Huh? You need some sugar, you need some milk, um, then baking soda, some butter and some sour cream. And on top of that, there's two things that are a little special. This is a pear concentrate, huh? so it's like a, um, an extract huh? from pears. And you also need like a gingerbread spice mix. I got this one obviously from Switzerland where I'm from, huh? So this is a bit special. I hope you can find that somewhere. Um, you know, when you make gingerbread spices, um, you know, gingerbreads, you probably can find that in some stores, hopefully. And um, if you wanna add something with the Lachkuche uh, on the side, I would probably recommend whipped cream. Huh? So that's also something to keep in mind. Okay, let's get started. As for the butter, you want to make that liquidish. So just put it in a small little pan and heat it up so that you can just pour that over the whole dough. And while you just make the butter liquidish and heat it up, you probably want to also start the oven and that would be 360 Fahrenheit because in those 10 minutes while you make the dough and prepare everything, the oven is going to be ready. All right, all the ingredients are ready. So we take um, about three cups of flour, white flour, huh? put that in here. Then two deciliters of milk, or around two cups, huh? maybe one and a half. Then one cup of sugar. Then sour cream, you can put the whole thing in here. That's the ingredient that makes it really creamy, huh? so that it's not like, a, you know those cakes that are sometimes super dry? Um, this really makes it nice and moist. Huh? So I think it's in Europe much more common to have more moist cakes. Then we're going to add a little bit of this pear concentrate, huh? Shake it well because maybe there's something on the very bottom that kind of got stuck. So we're just gonna pour a little bit, not too much, but still some, so it leaves a nice taste. And then you have your gingerbread um, spice mix, huh? I will put one of those small teaspoons. Then you need some baking soda. I've got that prepared here on the spoon. And last but not least, the butter that you just melted, huh? And then you mix it all. And that's how it eventually will look like, huh? Okay, so the next step is that you want to put a non-sticky parchment paper in one of those trays. Huh? So it's going to be a nice cake that you can then really cut into slices. So just make sure it stays nicely. Huh? And then we just pour that whole mass in here. And it'll basically just spread naturally in this form and shape. So it should be all good. But you can also help it a little bit. Looks good, huh? And see, the oven is ready. All right, this is the favorite part of the day. Leave it in there for about 50 minutes um, 
If you want to check if it's fine, let me just show you. So there's this needle that you can check if the cake is fine or not. And the way you do that, obviously you clean it first, you stick it into the cake and you take it out. And if there's still something stuck here, meaning dough, right? Then you know, oh, it still needs some time. Um, that's how you kind of know. But it, I would go with like 50 to 60 minutes huh? and then you can enjoy. And as I mentioned at the beginning, what works really nice with this Lattruhe is a little bit of whipped cream on the side. So just put that in here. You can also add fruits, you know, or anything. Um, I might put a little bit of bananas on the side. It's not a Swiss thing at all, but who cares? <laughs> it's just nice. So you have that here and you just whip it until it gets stiffer. Okay, so let's check if the cake is fine. It's definitely hot. Huh? So that's how it looks and what you want to do now is you put your needle in here Take it out and there's nothing here, so it should be fine. Um, quite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut a little bit of banana and put it here on the top of her on the side. Um, again, this is very untraditional, um, but I'm super up for trying new things and I have a feeling that could really work well with gingerbread. Huh? So I'm just going to cut a couple in here. So it looks like something like this, huh? Then I'm gonna add the whipped cream on the side here. And so this cake is basically for five people today. So I'm gonna give three people that much and keep a little bit for ourselves. you've seen today please share it online it's called dinner with my neighbor it's super simple you can all do it yourself huh? you cook with each other virtually or you actually cook for each other and bring each other's food text each other hey I delivered you pick it up and then once you're back in your home you eat it together so that you still can stay socially active you can still share your stories your concerns about these crazy times that we're in right now and we have some real nice um, exchange. I'm actually, besides my passion for cooking, I am a freelance musician and I have a website called GabriellaMartina.com. I do like Swiss traditional folk music fused with jazz, R&B, soul, etc. So you can find some nice videos on there and some information about my <laughs> upcoming gigs that are not happening. Um, so with that said, I lost all my income, all my concerts and tours got cancelled. So if you're one of the lucky ones who still has something um, to give, feel free to donate it on my webpage. Um, it's all clearly written there. Thank you so much for your support. Hopefully see you very soon again.